chops May today. Dad cut a little bit yesterday afternoon. And so yeah, we had there's two fields I think we're just gonna kinda get a little bit out of the way before we get going on majority of it. So I gotta sharpen knives on the chopper. So all that works is basically you don't do much. You got gotta hit a couple buttons in the cab that does it automatically. But right here is where the knife sharpening happens. So this cover opens up, then your stone is over there, then that will go back and forth along here as the knives are going and it sharpens them. I just opened this all up, blew the dust off. I'm gonna try to set this camera up somewhere that you maybe kind of see what happens. I think of a good spot for it, but let's see what I can show you here. I'm not sure how much you can see there's probably a lot of vibration but we're gonna think so there's some switches here i think i can open up that cover like that i can see what the knives look like So they're pretty dull. We're gonna run a couple paths on it, get them sharpened up a lot better. So to run, to sharpen the knives, like I said, you just gotta push a couple buttons. So up here, so th this button is the sharpen knives and this one sets your cutter bar we're going to start the knife you hold it till the green light turns on then it'll start up the knives that gives you a kind of a count down here it'll do 15 passes so that shows where your stone is going back and forth it's the end, goes to 14, goes back. So it takes a couple minutes to do a cycle. So after you sharpen your knives, you set your cutter bar, which that is, there's a big heavy steel, I think it's like a, it's got an edge on it, I don't know if it's carbon or what, I forget, it's some, sort of special steel it doesn't wear quite as bad and that's what your knives cut against like a cutting board so you set that because as you sharpen your knives as they get dull they get shorter and shorter to get a bigger gap between your knife and your cutting bar so you adjust that so it sets it up where it needs to be then also you can adjust it here the length of cuts that depends on where your knives will cut against that cutting bar so, so like halage or silage you go a little bit longer we do like this is all you always want about three quarters of an inch but this is in uh, metric so we do like 0.6 or something actually, actually 0.75 but it doesn't go right to 0.7 it kind of jumps around a little bit but somewhere around there halage is a little bit shorter cut we're gonna run a 
probably three knife sharpenings because it those knives are pretty dull. We uh turn some AC on here. With our hay, most of ours is in sand ground, so we get a lot of sand in our hay and that really dulls the knives up. So we're just about done. Supervising. So we're at two. Two left. That wasn't too long, a minute, two minutes maybe. But we're gonna do it one more time because it I feel like it needs some more. I wanna I think I can get out of the chopper while it's running and it won't shut off on me. We're gonna test it out here. We'll start it back up. Take my weight off the seat, see if it stops it or if it keeps going. Seems like it's working. We'll go out there and kind of watch it, see if I get a better view of it. Last night we had some visitors. Raccoons. Apparently some raccoons decided to put holes in our silage bag. Hey, jump on. No coming. Hey, don't be jumping on there. You know there there's a wide open bunker that's completely open but yet they got to do this a big hole right there Dad. yeah there's that one there's that one so it wasn't too bad it looks like there's about six to eight holes we're just going to tape it up. All right. But just a pain. So we're going to have to set up some concoction for the coons to avoid this from happening again. You're going to sit out here with your BB gun and wait for them to come tonight. No. Why? I don't want to. How else are going to get them? You. I don't even have a BB gun, Dad. Nope. <laughs> that blue one just sprays water. taking some out of that bag? Uh, last week. Yeah. That one's pretty long. The other ones are not that long. So, Dad, should we, are we just, are we planning on just leaving those two little ones that are over there up? Yeah, once this one's empty, then we'll go that one. Yeah, we'll leave that one up. Yeah, there's like a little tiny one over there and then like silage corn over there. 
a little bit of silent scoring too. Dad, why don't we ever use the other spell? Why don't you go video Grandpa a little bit? Why? He's putting silage in the TMR. Yeah. And he's putting that into the bag. What? What one? What one? What? Well, the bag's hooked up. Make sure you see the Okay. How am I going to I do not know how I'm getting off here. Like the new bag, Dad? Yeah, well, today unexpectedly I did not know if I, my grandpa is playing silence in a bag. It's videoing you. Oh, I'm just taking the end of that bag and pushing it off to the side for the heifers in the morning. Ooh, my yeah. dad wanted me to video you. Okay. So like, um, you're putting in the TMR and then you're backing the TMR up to that? Yeah, I'll put a little more in the TMR and I'll, I'll load some for you, okay? I'm gonna get it on. You fixed that cone damage yet? Dad's doing it. You tape him doing that? A little bit. He wanted me to. And now he wanted me to. Gonna set some traps for him. Watch if you don't break your phone. Bring it back. I know it's how you want to tape that. I won't push them off for the heifers in the morning. Okay. I want, save me 8,000 pounds for the cows though. 8,000? Yeah. Why is that? Both, um, what? Dad. Okay. Why can't we just use, um, sometimes when we're chopping and we're not, um, giving the cows feed, why can't we use the Team Mars, the chopper box? <laughs> Oh, he doesn't hold as much, but we did that when he do a... What? What do you do test plots? We do that. Hi. Why don't you go sit in that tractor for now and I'll drive it around. Dad just fired up the, uh, the TMR. I'm in the bigger structure, see? So, um, he's gonna just do that for now. Well, it's nice seeing that big bond. We can finally 
Got all the room we need for for haylage and stuff. Dad, is there no Holland's construction? Yep. Why do we not get a no Holland one? Because they're not blue, so we don't like them as much. What? New Holland skid steers aren't blue, so we don't like them as much. They're yellow. 